Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brett and 9mm USA here. Sig Sauer. Let's see. Oh boy. What is that all about? There it is. The Sig Sauer 226 Legion. Beautiful handgun. Look at those grips, man. G10. Yeah, very nice G10 with the Legion logo on them right there. Comes with night sights. Comes with a tricked out trigger from a custom shop. Who is that? I think it's Grey Goose guns or something like Grey that. Grey Goose. So some kind of tricked out trigger on there. I got to tell you guys, it is excellent. For those of you that are the 15,000 subscribers, you guys know I'm a trigger snob. Yes, I am. And that is one of the best that I've felt. So great trigger on that SIG right there. Comes with three magazines, guys. One, two, three. One in a gun. Checkmate. Yep. Not that car. U.S. made uh, magazines on this one. I did notice that. So here's the side profile of the Legion 226. The G10 grip is very comfortable in the hand. So we've got some low profile controls here. The slide release is much smaller than I remember it being on my other 226s. So that'll be more difficult to actuate accidentally, which I have a history of doing that. So that's good news for me. And then uh, the decocker, maybe a little bit trimmed down in size, maybe just a little. Mag release seems very familiar. Nice cut around with the uh, G10 grips there. So right here, we have some nice front strap checkering. Also, it's checkered. Can you see this? Underneath the trigger well, it's checkered here. And then it's also checkered in the front of the trigger well. I don't remember hearing that on other channels. And then it's got a nice deep cut behind the trigger well where your finger is going to ride to get that good grip. So you're really going to be able to ride up high on it? Yeah. And the beaver tail is a little bit less than some fancy 226s that are out there. So it's adequate. It's going to keep your hand out of the way of any moving parts or anything like that. It does allow you to get up high enough on the pistol that you feel like you got a good grip. So that's a plus. Check out the back sight right here has serrations in it to reduce glare. Along with tritium night sights. The front sight really attracts your eye. It really glows during the daylight hours, and then it's a night sight at night. It's really amazing. And if I turn the pistol around here for you real quick, you can see it has Legion engraved into the slide, which is really cool. The color is really nice. Different than any other SIG 226 you might have already in your collection which is what I was thinking. All right, you guys, the Sig Sauer Legion P226. Brita Senior is kind enough to let me actually break it in, putting the first 15 rounds through it. We've got a 15 round Checkmate magazine fully loaded up. Hopefully it functions 100%. All right, we're gonna go double action first round. Decocked. The sights on this are amazing. Double action trigger. Wow, that trigger on that is amazing. I understand why they cost what they do. You know, this gun is around $1,099, right? Yeah. And that's a really bucks. amazing price, considering that most of the SIGs out there are in that price range already, you know? You get a lot for the money. Yeah, so it isn't too much of a change as far as the price. And you know, for that money, you get the G10 grips, which are just absolutely beautiful. You get the lower profile controls. You get actually a solid steel guide rod. So for everyone that says, you know, upgrading to an actual solid steel guide rod is a mistake. You guys, it's a cheaper cost cutting measure to sell a hollowed out one with the gun, the normal guns factory stock. You know, so it's just an upgrade that you get to make later on down the road. Well, with this gun, because it is honestly probably a better 226 than all the other 226s out there, this is how it comes. Lower profile controls so that actually people don't accidentally hold it down and have the slide not lock back like this. The sights on this are just truly amazing. I love that green front sight with the tritium insert. It's like a Trigicon HD sight, but green instead of yellow or red or orange or whatever it is. Yeah, the grips are really good and 
The trigger triggers on SIGs traditionally, especially if you've got the SRT trigger, I've always liked. And this one is just slightly better than all of those. I haven't shot it yet, so um, so I guess the proof will be in the pudding. I think that the trigger overall in double action and single action is better than my Blackwater Tactical, and that's quite sad to say. <laughs> yeah, because that's an awesome trigger. So the reset is so far back. That's the re that that was the reset. It's so far back. I'm not used to it being that far back, so I'm having to adjust my trigger finger to be able to hit it in the middle of the trigger and pull uh, straight back without kind of jerking it a little bit. So look at the two targets. You can tell both targets. I'm kind of going a little bit to the left, so I'm kind of pushing the trigger a little bit. Which and is I was okay. going a little bit to the right. Huh? And I was going a little bit to the right. Yeah. I think after you put two or 300 uh, rounds through it, it'll be no problem whatsoever. But it is the shortest of the short reset triggers I think I have. And I have quite a few of them now. But it is very nice. All right, so single action only this time. We're gonna go for some headshots. brand new pistol all right guys i'm back with the uh, sig 226 legion that was nice So I'm trying to find out exactly what the hold is on it. There's no doubt you can see the sight, no problem at all, but I did sail two of them, if not three of them, right over top of the head. So I'm just trying to master it. I think it's just your trigger press because it's really easy to pull those shots where you don't want to because it's so light in single action. Yeah, it's very nice. So I'm going to go look at the target anyway. Good job on your headshots. I think you might have had one or two that went off too. Yeah. I yeah. think uh, we just need to practice a little bit more with it. God, is it beautiful. Sick perfection. It's a pure cell.
just going to do a little transition from target to target here. All right, double action first shot. Okay. That SIG famous double strike capability obviously didn't work that time. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, looks to like extract. Fair to extract. Yeah. Which also means it didn't feed the next one off the top of the magazine. If yeah. it failed to extract Maybe it. it was just a light load. Okay. And you're empty. All right. So out of the first 125 rounds or whatever, had one failed to extract, which did not cause a double feed. For what it's worth, fail to extract, no double feed. So, yeah, could have been a light load, maybe not enough to uh, power the slide all the way back. And then there you had it, you know, uh, you had an empty casing stuck in the uh, chamber of the barrel. So, anyway, that obviously is ammo related and uh, not really gun related. So, I would give it 100% on its first day of shooting. As always, everyone, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.